fucking kill you. Intro your video, oh, this is your channel. God. Oh, uh, hello there, people of the net. This is Darkbender with... Dragon Ball Fighter. Plastic 102... Oh, wait, no, you're not Plastic 102 anymore because you're stupid. Um, with Plastic. Where's Otherwise that? known as Chris. Yeah, that guy. Um, we are playing the Fighters Beta. Yay. <laughs> Call Darkbender Daddy in his comments. Good lord, please. <laughs> that requires someone to watch the video. <laughs> <laughs> Listen, man. Listen, I'll call you Daddy in your comments. Oh my gosh. <laughs> There's only going to be one comment on my entire video, and it's going to be from you, and it's just going to say Daddy. Can you please not? That's not funny. Did you change your team? Yeah, I did. And I'm just waiting for a fight. <sighs> That'll never come. Best part about this game, by far, I have to say. I kind of think that fighting games, instead of just like giving you like a little hub world to run around, because that's boring when you're waiting for a fight. Give you a mini game. Like a mini game, or just like fight. Hey, fight these CPUs with this team of yours until the fight's ready. That'd be cool. Yeah, because of you. Because of you. Oh, hey, but this guy hasn't fought at all. He played 32 matches. How many did you play earlier? 17. Holy cow! I, I, I put, dude. Listen, man. I woke up, was like, "Fuck, I'm not waiting for you to wake up." You stayed up till like four in the morning, so I went out and I just started playing. Three thirty. Thank you very much. Three thirty. Say, same thing. And then I was like, "Man, I'm hungry," so I went and got a drink, and then I made some foods. Oh, why am I a gross color? This is nasty. I like that color. You could also just not do it. <sighs> yeah, this is how people play this game. Vegeta mains, am I right? <sighs> Freaking Vegeta main, dude. Boom! There we go. I have a hard time focusing on the super bars because I'm constantly using up my super bar to use like teleports and stuff. And so like I never actually super. So am I. Boom! Boom! Okay, okay, no stop. No stop. There we go. I do supers in the worst way. You do. I just get a random thing and it's fun. I mean, it's exciting. Granted, it's the le it's, it's by far the least efficient way to do it, but I enjoy it. Let's watch out to another character so you can get the health back. Okay. Oh, doesn't, I'm gonna die. I'm dead. Yeah, you are. But does it really matter? Does it? Yes. No, I don't feel like it does. I didn't even do that one. Never mind, I need to figure out how to do the super better. I know you explained it to me, but I can't do that in the middle of a fight. That requires me to, like, concentrate and stuff, and that's boring. They're literally so easy to do. I, that was me trying to do super, by the way, the, the, the correct way. <laughs> uh, I hate it. I can't, I can't. It's down back. Yeah, I did. I did down back and then I did down it's forward. It's easier to do with the analog. It's easier just to spin. Spin to win, am I right, guys? Spin to win. It's it'll work eventually. I promise. Check it. I win. That Check was your it. Weak super. Check it. I win. Dude, what? How did you do that? Spin <laughs> to win. Okay. Boom. Okay. Check it. See? Uh, you don't even have to be good at this game. You just have to spin the stick and you win. <laughs> Uh, I feel so bad right now. Huh. This super skill-based game, I just decimated that guy by spinning my analog stick and just mashing the buttons. Good lord. Once there was a young boy who played Vegeta in a video game. And he hated every 
every second of it. He turned himself Kaioken. Dude, listen, man. He's not the only one that can do it anymore. Oh, gosh, stop hitting me. And stop. then it went away. Very fast. That did not last very long. I feel like it normally lasts longer than that. Bone, stop! It would stop if you spawn. <laughs> oh, good lord, please don't. Oh, good lord. Okay. Switching out. Hey, we had the same idea. Oh! That was a wreck. Thank you, I think. A wrecked moment. Uh, just, you could just be like an inch closer to me whenever I hit you. That that'd be perfect. All right, time to spin. Time. To, oh, it's not working. There we go. To all those I viewers win. out there watching this video, I highly recommend the anime Devil Man Cry Baby. I mean, it's like whatever. It's okay. It, it's I, good. I don't, it's I don't good. Get all the hype. Cause you haven't finished it, yet. so I'm halfway. I'm it's a show that's meant to be watched all at once. I'm halfway through the show, and I still don't get the hype. Okay, then you just won't understand. I don't. I don't get a lot of why that most things are popular that are, dude. But this time it's not like Sao. How so? This one's actually good. Is it? Yes. Oh, just a couple of my guys. I mean, it's like, okay. You don't understand. But the characters are pretty boring. The, the story is like, well, okay, I've, I've seen a show in before. This is that again. It's supposed to be a watch it in one go. No. That's why it's on Netflix, made by Netflix. That's what all of their shows are. Like Little Witch Academia. That wasn't <laughs> made by Netflix. It, it was in association. That's close enough. They for bought me. the rights to it. It's close enough for me. That's literally all it was. It's close enough. It has the Netflix logo on it. It's a Netflix show. Only in America. So. I don't see your point. <laughs> Which team are you? I'm Piccolo. Okay, okay. I wanna try you are good. No, I wanna, you just don't get wanna, it. Your IQ isn't high enough. Good lord, Rick and Morty fans are the scum of the earth. You know who's the scum of the earth? Fans of anything. No, yes. Rick and Morty. There, there are certain fandoms that aren't that no. bad. Yeah. Name one. I, I said the Bleach one isn't that bad. Well, I think the Bleach one has an understanding that it shows that. The only reason that, like, the, I say that is just because, like, Bleach fans are, like, the ones that are constantly crapped on. And so they're, they're like, whatever, I just like my show, whatever, I don't care. <laughs> okay, that's a good point. And I, I'd say the Pokemon one, because I've talked to plenty of people that don't like Pokemon and I like Pokemon, this. but the people that I've talked to that like Pokemon understand why people don't like Pokemon. Dude, we're in a Mechian now. Yeah, I am. Mainly because Sweshwan Sauce isn't even that good. In comparison that to rare. how many Rick and Morty fans there are, not a lot of people did it. <laughs> True. But the same. Whoa. Okay. <sighs> but still, I, I just don't like Rick and Morty fans except for, like, I hate everything. I, like, I used to not really like I hate everything. What about that PewDiePie? Much. You hate PewDiePie? No, I was. Well, I mean, I was you hate Spoonerism? I, I don't know who that is. Oh my gosh. I, mean, I was listing out examples, and Get out no, of here. I, I love Pews, specifically when he talks about Rick and Morty, because he, he almost exclusively makes fun of fans. Well, because fans of anything Troy. are the worst, man. Really? I'll name you one that's worse than Rick and Morty. What? Paulers. Yeah. Yeah. But at the same time, let's hang a body and call it Lit Savage. But at the same Bam. time, you can make that argument specifically just because they like Jake. Dude, Paul. that hanging corpse was dabbing on those haters. They're dead. I, that was a very. I was saying that he was dead, but that was a very poor timing because we were just talking about the, the Logan Paul thing. So, <laughs> yeah. 
But yeah, no, like, they're worse than Rick and Morty because they like those two in general. That's, that's like, the worst sin that they could do is be fans of those two. Because they're not funny. They're not charismatic in the slightest. They're just annoying. At least Rick and Morty, I can, like, I've seen parts of the show, I'm like, okay, I can understand why some people would enjoy this and think it's funny. I don't, personally, but that's fine. That's just because you don't have a high enough IQ. Motherfuckers, and every, and that is, like, the most common argument ever, and but I've heard people say that Unlike seriously. Rick and Morty, you don't need a high IQ to watch Logan Paul. Yeah, and, uh, get, oh my gosh, you don't need a high IQ for either one. <laughs> but, <laughs> at the same time, yes, you do. there is an appeal to Rick and Morty. And there's zero to like about Logan Paul or Jake Paul. He has hair. So both of them have hair. So do Rick and Morty. Rick so. not as much. He still has hair, just not very a lot. I mean, he has a lot of hair, but he doesn't have it all around. You know, he's he's balding a little bit. Yeah. You know? So it's like got that crazy scientist. Hair. By the way, oh, change to of topic. Uh, I was watching <laughs> Netflix last night. What show? <laughs> and I was like, what? what's new on Netflix? I'll, I'll click on whatever the Oh first. my gosh, what's happening? I don't know. Did, did he get that wish? Motherfucker, what the shiz? That was some bullcrap right there. Anywho. I, I was like, I'll watch, I'll watch whatever the top trending thing is right now. What was it? It was freaking Captain Underpants. <laughs> I've heard a lot of good things about <laughs> and that. And I watched it, and it was the worst thing I've ever oh, seen. I just heard that it was funny. Was it wasn't really that bad. Listen, they had Kevin Hart in it. Yeah. And they made him try to sing multiple times. Okay. And it was awful every time. Cool. <laughs> The twist uh, ending was totally expected. Uh, just in, if you, you know, yeah. have watched anything ever. And then they have multiple parts of the movie where the, the two kids do the same gag of, well, I guess this is the end of the movie because there's nothing else for us to tell us because they're, they, of course, have the ability to break the fourth wall yeah, constantly. And they do it constantly. Um, but in all reality, I think the movie would have been good if they literally just did Captain Underpants in the real world. Like, just brought Captain Underpants to the real world? Because that's, that's the concept of the movie, right? Yeah. Is that, oh, Captain Underpants is, is real now, and he's in the real world. Except for the fact that the world around these two kids is completely shaped by their imagination anyways. Oh, that kind of ruins the point. Yeah, though. right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh my gosh, she is destroying me. And so it's like, the movie was bad. I didn't Fine. like it. Okay, okay. But I like the story arc between the principal and the lunch lady. So did I! I haven't seen that. Yeah, yeah, I know. Good lord, I am dead. That was a really random topic change from Rick and Morty. Sorry, I, I was thinking that you, we were talking about bad stuff, and I, I, all I thought about was, oh man, that, that Captain Underpants movie was pretty bad. I've heard that was just like stupid fun. I don't, I didn't get much fun out of it. They had, they had maybe three jokes in the whole thing that they did over and over and over again, which I guess is expected from a DreamWorks film nowadays. Um, I don't know. I saw. We, I, I seen Boss Baby. That I Boss Baby was it. pretty good. Which is weird, cause like everyone hates it. I mean, I don't. I don't think it's like great. I don't like the lazy art decisions, but I did like the movie. I I enjoyed it. I I had a good time. It was neat. But that sounds better than the Captain Underpants. So yeah, I have I have. L really, really low expectation for any movie ever, unless it's like, unless it's like Marvel and everyone hypes it up, and then it always ends up not being hyped. Like Ragnarok, I think. Like that. Okay. Everyone's so Guardians of the Galaxy is a great example. 
I don't care for Guardians, but really? it's the best Marvel movie ever. Oh my gosh, everyone freaking loves Guardians 2. Guardians 2 is way worse than Guardians 1. Okay. To me. Yeah. I have to put that in there so no one's No, like, people will still get mad at you. Yeah, you okay, whatever. To me, it was a bad movie. Yeah. I didn't like it. I didn't like Thor Ragnarok as much as everyone else liked Thor Ragnarok either. I don't know. I, I just didn't like him. It's really interesting to see like what Marvel movies people do and don't like. Because like, I don't care at all for Doctor Strange. Did, did you like that I like one, Doctor right? Strange, yeah. yeah. Whereas I could care less, honestly. It's, it's just Iron Man. One. I liked Iron Man 3. I was okay with Iron Man 3. Yeah. But everyone, like, everyone hates every Iron Man except for one, apparently. Which is very true, and I don't really get it. I mean, I, I, I can get the hate for Iron Man 2. That's a boring movie. Iron Man 2 is bad, yeah. It's it's nothing but, like, the boring setup for other movies. Mm -hmm. But, like, seeing, like, where people, like, vary is very interesting. Because, like, I like all the Captain Americas except for Captain America 1. And, and I hate, hate Captain all America. of Captain America. Yeah. Everything. Captain America sucks. And, like, I really like Thor Ragnarok. Not nearly as much as I really didn't like else did. Civil War. And I really like Civil War. And but I, I think there's only one reason I didn't like it. Because of Captain America not dying. Yeah, Captain America didn't die. <laughs> <laughs> Listen, Bucky is literally the best Captain America. Okay. How cool would it be in the cinematic universe for Captain America to have a robot arm? How cool would it be if anyone died in general? If, I'm actually very disappointed. The one I just wanted somebody to die in Civil War. Kid was the best character in this But game. like, the reason I wanted someone to die in Civil War was because that's how they were like building it up in all the trailers. Was that it's going to be like this gritty fight between all the heroes, and they show Bucky, what looks to be him dying, and they show Iron, whatever the other Iron Man is, being like, "This means war now." No, the other Iron Man getting killed. Oh yeah, I already said that. You said Bucky. Oh, did I? Oh, I didn't mean that. But yeah, no. And then like, it's like that, that specific part that the, in the trailers that they were like, "Oh man, this is like the gritty fight where there is like a serious fight between all the guys." It's just a joke. Fight. Yeah, all of the Civil War trailers were like, "This is gonna be the edgiest team movie you've ever seen in your entire life." But then like, the only fight with like any actual drama did was like the Iron Man versus Cap and Bucky. And then they didn't even kill up freaking Cap, dude. And like. The reason I wanted someone to die is just because there have been so many movies and just no one's died, so there's no tension to any fight ever in any Marvel food movie. So it's just kind of like, whatever, I don't really care. Also, I hate that they constantly spoil everything in all the trailers ever. Yes. Like, how cool would it have and been? it's like you can't avoid them either. Because, because they're, they're like everywhere. the top trailer shown on YouTube, and so if you're watching YouTube at all, you're going to see a Marvel trailer. Yeah, like, how cool would it have been to see... Uh, Hulk come out in Planet Hulk in the middle of the movie not expecting it at all but no they just plaster it all over every single trailer out there hey okay, yeah he is Hulk's in this movie movies. by the way yeah and it's just kind of like what the freak I would have liked to see that in the movie or Spider-Man in Civil War like because yeah they, can you imagine if they just saved that they, for the movie because they got the license for him like not long before the movie came out and like that's kind of Clear. Granted, I think that they did a good I'm job. I'm so excited for Deadpool, though, because now that Marvel actually owns Deadpool, well, they might try to censor it more. Oh. That's the only thing I'm thinking. Because it's That's Disney. True. That's true. Disney does suck. I wouldn't say that they suck. <laughs> they suck when it comes to uh, gaining licenses to things. Yeah. Although. I mean, the Star Wars movies that they put out, I've liked more than the old ones. I mean, Last Jedi was kind of the most mediocre. Let me tell you movie why I've you've enjoyed seen. them more than the old ones. Why? Cause because the old ones were bad. I mean, they're like, okay, whatever movies. Dude, we're gonna get so much hate for that. If we don't call every single Star Wars movie a 10 out of 10 master. Star Wars is prequels. the worst series. <laughs> I wouldn't say it's the worst. Star series. Wars is on par with Star Trek. But a lot of people like Star Trek. Don't take that as an insult. 
Star Trek belongs in the trash, Star Wars belongs right next to the dumpster. I I'd say it's the sword art of movies where... It is! It totally is, dude! Except not enough people think that way, and uh, too many people like think it's the 10 out of 10 masterpiece. Motherfucker! <laughs> well, I guess this is the end of this episode. We'll see you in the next episode of Dragon Ball Xenoverse... No, it's, it's Fighters... Two! Oh. Okay. Bye. Oh, hey, it's at 100%. <laughs>